Hello, hello everyone! My name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is a spring cleaning themed book unhaul. So lately I've been wanting to purge my shelves a little bit because there are books that I am holding on to that I am never going to read again, I'm never going to reference in a video, and I'm just, I don't need them on my shelves. I don't want them. They're not books that I enjoyed a lot or they're series that I won't be continuing. So I just thought I should probably get rid of these. And so I've been thinking a lot about spring lately, even though we're about to have a snowstorm, I thought it would be fun to do a spring cleaning. Most of these books will probably be sold to half price books and for the ARCs or books that half price books might not want, I will be dropping them in free little libraries in my neighborhood. So let's get started. The first one is going to be Alive by Scott Sigler. This is the first in a trilogy. I read the first book and I thought it was all right. I read the second book and I really didn't like it that much and I tried to read the third and I just couldn't do it. So I decided if I can't even finish reading the trilogy, then I shouldn't even own the first book. It is a sci-fi trilogy where our main character wakes up in a coffin and has no memory of who she is, where she is, kind of what is going on. And then she finds other people and they got to figure out where they are and what they need to do. This book I have on my shelf is one that I read way even before I started my YouTube channel. And I read it and it was alright. And that is Criminal by Tara Elin McVoy. And this is following a girl who is dating basically a criminal like she gets caught up in some of the activities that he does and they're not legal and just kind of like trying to sever that relationship realizing that it's uh, manipulative and not healthy and i mean i the book is all right i i don't really like her characters and i just haven't there there doesn't need to be a place for it on my shelves so goodbye Next up is Raising Dragons by Brian Davis. I read this and I thought it was good, but I just don't have a lot of motivation to continue with the series, and so I won't be keeping it on my shelves. And yeah, it's a series about dragons. It's middle grade, I believe. This one is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, but it's the uh, graphic novel version, and it's like library wrapped and I want to own this book in a different format. Next up, this one I went back and forth on so much but it's Somewhere Between Bitter and Sweet by uh, Lake and Zaya Kemp and see this book just it missed the mark for me. I was so excited to to read it because it's all around food and like she bakes and her parents have a restaurant but she has her own dreams, and yeah, like, I, I just, it seemed right down my alley, like, a food-based contemporary romance, um, but sprinkled in with, uh, issues with immigration and scares of being deported and things like that, so just keep that in mind, but just, it started off all right, but then it just kept getting, and I was less interested and getting more annoyed and kind of just, like, I don't like our love interest, and I don't think these characters are making good decisions and it it just it was right on the border of do I like it enough to keep it or do I not and so at this point I think I'm just need to I just need to let it go these next two are definitely going to require a little bit of explanation so the cool prince by Holly Black the reason I am getting rid of this is because all of my other Holly Black books are hardcover and this is softcover and I've been wanting to kind of put more attention into my shelves of aesthetics and details and things that make it look nice. So I I have the hardcover now. I, I purchased the hardcover of this book and I don't need two copies so I'm just going to sell the softcover. I still love this series. It's still going to be on my shelves. I just don't need the soft cover. And then this next one, <laughs> The Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. This one I'm getting rid of because I bought this individually and then 
I ended up buying the entire set the entire set and so I don't need two copies of it because it's the same cover it's the same so I'm just getting it because it is a duplicate book that's why I'm getting rid of it don't worry and then I have Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Um, so this was handed down to me from like my mom or my sister or like someone. It was not initially my book. I don't care for poetry and I'm, I'm just not going to keep it. In all honesty, I might just give this to my mom because she has a whole bunch of like baby things. <laughs> <laughs> getting ready for grandchildren and so I might just give this to her to hold on for that rather than get rid of it but point is I don't want it on my shelves anymore the final book that I have is Sway With Me this is by Saeed and Masood and this is an art copy I actually have the finished copy in hardcover and so I just wanted to get rid of the soft cover arc and keep the hardcover finished copy um, I'm currently reading it. I think it's all right. I don't actually know if I'm going to keep the hardcover yet. I just want to finish reading it and then I'll make that decision. So, and of course, as I continue to read books on my shelves, I'll probably get rid of some more. But yeah, those are all the books that I will be doing in this little unhaul. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how often you clean out your shelves and do an unhaul. I, I want to do it more often and I want to be more like strict with if I didn't like this book, I shouldn't keep it. Or if I'm not going to read this book, I shouldn't keep it. I think though I've read most of the, yeah, I've read all of them except for the poetry book or the, the ones I'm getting rid of because of duplicates. So that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty good. I've read them all and I'm getting rid of them because I didn't like them because it's honestly harder for me to get rid of a book that I have read even if I didn't like it. So I want to know how often you go through your shelves and clean them out and are you getting rid of books that you're just not going to read or that you did not like. Uh, if you like this, feel free to subscribe. I post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. Hit the bell to be notified for when I post. Otherwise, I also have bookish social media linked down below that you can follow me on like Instagram and places like that for more bookish content. And yeah, that is everything. So until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.